Hey, it's my Tabor City home. And today we're doing a uh, single, single steering stabilizer from Rough Country for a Ford F-250. It's a 2008 Ford F-250. Making this little introduction because in the sequence of putting the steering stabilizer together, I got something out of sequence. So just to give you a note, rather than trying to do the video and follow along putting your stuff together, Watch the video completely so you'll see where I messed up before you put yours together and then it'll save you the step of having to go back midway through and, and correct it, all right? So, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it's helped somebody out there, all right? Hey, so it's my Tabor City home here. And today we are putting in a Rough Country single steering stabilizer. I've looked on YouTube and there seems to be an awful lot of videos uh, how to install a dual steering stabilizer on an f-250 but i really couldn't find much of anything that talks about just replacing the factory single steering stabilizer so uh we've already put some pb blaster on the points here we need to wrench on right here uh this is an 18 millimeter uh you're gonna need deep well socket for that and that's going to be a 15 with the bolt being on the back side. All right. So you're going to need a 15. Doesn't, the 15 doesn't have to be a deep well. But the 18, you're going to need a deep well uh, socket to get the old one off. Uh, we're going to work on that. And then we'll get back to you. All right. Okay. So we've gotten the nut off of here. And we've loosened the nut down here. Now this has actually this nut is attached to a, a brace piece i have no idea what you actually technically call this but you do not have to put a wrench on this side when you start loosening this bolt right um this is actually mine was flipped all the way up as i started wrenching the bolt it flipped back down once it hits the chassis it, the screw will start backing out of the bolt so we we've a uh, pb blaster this we've got the nut off here now we're gonna take a, a hammer. There you go. Give it a few wraps. Now, wrapping that thing with a hammer, no biggie. You're not gonna use it again. The new one, the, the Rough Country comes with, with the new stem. So I'm not saying, you know, absolutely cream the hell out of it and deform it but it's not gonna be the biggest deal ever if you end up you know wrapping it with a hammer and deforming it slightly so our 15 millimeter back here on the ratchet just gonna set this up here now as far as a rough country setup goes Although you're not going to use part of the original, the OEM, you do need to keep a hold of a couple of pieces. All right. That's the old one out. Now, these two pieces that come, that are from this brace here, you need to hold on to them. Don't get rid of them. You're going to need them to install the new Rough Country setup. Okay? The pieces that were down here, you get all brand new. But the pieces that actually attach to the body frame over here, you need to keep these two pieces, all right? Be back and just say. Now, to be quite honest with you, I had a hell of a time getting a hold of this piece. Um, and I'm going to say this about Rough Country. I ordered this piece, got a tracking notice on it, five days later got a box delivered that had this sticker and these in there and no stabilizer okay called rough country explain to them what happened hey we're sorry we'll get you a new one out so they ship a new one right get a new tracking number like five six days later trying to track it and i get a notification that it's a delivery exception i call rough country they get a hold of FedEx. FedEx says, hey, there was an issue with the package. We can't deliver it. Um, he didn't say exactly what that issue was. Rough Country says, hey, we're sorry. We'll get you another one out. So I do that again. 
this thing <laughs> ships for six days. I see on the internet where it says delivery exception. Um, but before, because I'm at work, before I can call Rough Country, I get a, hey, your package will be delivered. And this thing shows up yesterday in a huge box. Now, in comparison to the original box, this box was huge. Um, and all I got was this. But again, previously, I got this. That being said, I got no directions, no nothing. So, you know, we're going off of, uh, off of best practice here. So, this, the, the hardware that you get is actually going to go inside this, this rubber bushing here. Um, I've already put a little PB blaster in there, but I'm going to add just a little bit more. It's kind of a tight fit in there. And the side of this thing, if you can see... One side is tapered, the other side is, is smooth, all right? So the smooth side will go inside the rubber bushing here. You'd wanna apply a, a washer, and then, and this is one of those screws that has the nylon, oh, I gotta get this in the camera, that has the nylon thread on it. Um, so you wanna apply that. So, in looking at, <sighs> what size this would be um 17 millimeter and 11 sixteenths like both of them will do it i'm gonna say this about it neither one of them feels like it's absolutely where it needs to be uh if you want to say it that way so give me one second i'm gonna get a wrench so i can tighten this piece up all right and so what i mean by that is 17 millimeter and 11 sixteenths to me both feel like they have a little bit of play in them when it comes to this gig so and put this thing back on so i do want to say this i bought this truck used with 250,000 miles on it um i have done my best to you know try to keep up with things and, and work on things but as far as i know and from trying to research the numbers that i can find on this particular steering stabilizer um man this camera's shaking um <clears throat> best of my knowledge this is a factory steering stabilizer from ford this is a rough country steering stabilizer. And if you'll look at the difference in the bulk of these two, I'm really hoping that, you know, this thing right here just acts like the beast that it looks like it's gonna be and will hold up for a long time. So really look forward to seeing what this thing's gonna be able to do. All right. All right, so we just set this in here, just get it up and out the way. Put our steering stabilizer. here go ahead and start hand tightening this piece here yeah actually I'm really kind of a uh, kind of impressed with the amount of bulk difference in this steering stabilizer from what the factory one is so again this particular Nut up here is a 15 millimeter. Right, and this flange is going to go ahead and hit the body up here. It's not a big issue. Alright, 
that's on there. Now, switch back over to the 17 millimeter for the rough country stuff. You know what? We're gonna back this out for me because I think we did something wrong. So just looking at this, I'm guessing that where I put a washer on the inside of this thing, I'm going to say that you need to have a washer on the inside. Well, well, hell, how can you wash it up? Oh, well, wait a minute. Yep. So you have two washers, okay? You have one with a larger hole and one with a smaller. See the difference? The one with the larger goes on the straight shaft, goes through. All right. Then... The one with the smaller hole then put on our nut and tighten this sucker down it just looked odd the way it was because if you put it on the way it was you could tell that ultimately sooner or later you're gonna end up tearing up that bushing and that bushing wasn't gonna last you no time <clears throat> uh, ain't no reason to tear up brand new good stuff right so now that we fix our own stupid stuff Go ahead, and again, this nut being 17 millimeters, because we just put that nut on there, we already have the right socket on. So there you go rough country steering stabilizer single stabilizer not replacing the the single with the double and using the factory uh mounts for your steering stabilizer and that's what we ended up with so hope that helps uh my Tabor city home y'all wrench on your truck have a good day so while putting this video together, I, <laughs> I figured out that I went and I started in a direction explaining something and I really didn't get the explanation done very well. So I wanted to follow it up with this. 
I explained that the first time I ordered their steering stabilizer, I got a empty box in the mail. Call Rough Country immediately, no problem. We'll get you another one on the way. Second time I ordered this steering stabilizer, uh, it got hung up in, uh, in a city uh, that's a transfer hub from here. Um, called Rough Country, they got a hold of the carrier. Hey, there's an issue with the package, but it's not a problem for you. We'll get you another one on the way. Third time, hey, there's a little bit of an issue, but you're getting your steering stabilizer tomorrow. So, overall, what I'm going to say is, I would I would absolutely recommend you do business with Rough Country. Um, I found them to be a company that cares about their customer service and cares about their customers. At no time during all the issues that I had getting this one part, I, guys, I'm just one little customer. It was like a fifty dollar part, okay? They don't know me from Adam's house cat, and and at no time uh, in dealing with them did I ever feel like I was just one little customer. It was always, hey, sorry for the inconvenience, even though it wasn't their fault. I know damn well they sent me the right thing. It was a carrier's problem, but at every single turn they were no problem. We'll get you another one on the way. So my first experience with the rough country. Sooner or later, I'm going to be putting sh <coughs> shocks on this truck. You can damn well bet. I'm going to go back to Rough Country and see what they have available for it because my first experience with them was that they have great customer service and they actually care about the people who do business with them. All right? So I just want to make sure that I included this in that video because as many problems as I had getting this one part, and again, one little customer, $50 part, as much problems as I had to get this one part, I really felt like they went above and beyond in customer service made me feel like they knew it wasn't my issue they knew it wasn't their issue but they took care of it anyways and guys when you're dealing with customers or companies that give great customer service say it when you know it is rough country i applaud you you gave great customer service in this and you very well may very have another uh, order coming from me in, in the future when it comes time to put shocks on this f-250 all right i applaud you for your customer service you guys have a great day